All right, guys, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Sunday afternoon. How y'all doing today? The man with the plan, the man with the knowledge, the man with the wrestling news. And in this video, we're going to talk about none other than the fallen superstar, Dolph Ziggler. Now, I just got done watching um, 2012 uh, TLC pay-per-view where Dolph Ziggler faced John Cena in the main event where the Money in the Bank briefcase was put on the line. And if you guys don't think that Dolph Ziggler should be up there as a main eventer, I don't know who you think should be. Because, you know, I've been watching Dolph for, you know, a number of years, and um, he moved his way on up the ladder. This guy is phenomenal in the ring. He can do everything in the ring. And that night at TLC... Him and Cena put on a match. They gelled so well together. And uh, they put on a match that was a great main event. The crowd loved it. Um, the whole concept of that match was to climb up the ladder and grab the briefcase. And these guys went back and forth, I mean, to no end. I, I don't know if it was like a 25-minute match or so. But it seemed a lot longer while watching it. And it came down to the point where... Vicky Guerrero came into the ring. She was going to hit John Cena with the chair. And all of a sudden, here comes AJ Lee donning the John Cena, you know, half-cut T-shirt. And she took out Vicky Guerrero. And everybody's looking up. John Cena then proceeded to climb up the ladder. He was almost near the top, getting ready to grab the briefcase. And AJ tipped the ladder over. And in astonishment... By Dolph Ziggler, staring at AJ Lee. She then proceeded to prance out of the ring. Dolph Ziggler climbed up and grabbed the Money in the Bank briefcase. And this was a phenomenal match. And these are the kind of matches that you can see all the time with Dolph Ziggler if he's allowed to. Unfortunately, you know, we've seen a lot of great matches with Dolph and Alberto Del Rio, the former WWE superstar. And um, those matches were classic as well. And then I believe, I think it was the first Monday Night Raw in 2013, we also saw John Cena and Dolph Ziggler again in another match, which was a superb match. So Dolph and John gelled well together. And, you know, this is my point. You know, Dolph Ziggler has pushed down to a mid-card status to the point where, you know, he'll, he'll wrestle, you know, the likes of other mid-carders. And um, it's unfortunate for Ziggler because he can he can play the game with anybody at the top of the WWE. Last night in Avastat, um, he main evented a show with Randy Orton, and he defeated Randy Orton. This is my point. If Dolph Ziggler wrestles these top superstars, he can show and relive to the WWE what he can do. And this is what Dolph Ziggler needs. I mean, you can't be going on wrestling the Damian Sandows or the Curtis Axels. You need to wrestle the Randy Ortons, the Seth Rollins, uh, the Canes, because Dolph is right up there with the likes of them. And the WWE has failed to let Dolph really do this. And I do understand for the fact that he did have concussions and the WWE was uh, uncertain whether or not to, you know, really push him up to the top and was worried about, well, what if something happened? You know, um, you know, we might have to strip him of the belt and whatnot. But guess what? You had to do it to Daniel Bryan. So why not give Dolph Ziggler the opportunity to at least get that shot? Because I honestly do believe that Dolph Ziggler is one of the best superstars, one of the best in-ring wrestlers that WWE has today. And it's unfortunate that he hasn't got the real big push that he has really truly deserved. Like I said, he was um, the World Heavyweight Champion at one time when he beat Alberto Del Rio, and then the concussion occurred. And it just seemed like after that, things went downhill, and then Dolph ended up saying some remarks about certain wrestlers and whatnot, and then he was put in the doghouse. And then thereafter, we didn't really see a heck of a lot of Dolph.
but right now the WWE is actually sort of giving him a little bit of a push. Maybe it's a push to see, you know, how far he can go and what he can accomplish and really show the WWE, you know, that he is deserving to again get another major push in the world of the WWE and the WWE World Heavyweight title. Now, for my money, Dolph Ziggler deserves to be up there in the ranks to wrestle the likes of the Randy Orton's, the John Cena's, the Kane's, the Seth Rollins, the Roman Reigns, the you know the Dean Ambrose's. I mean the Bray Wyatt's. He's already proved, you know, he's had great feuds with Chris Jericho. Um, he can wrestle anybody. And the bottom line is, with Dolph wrestling you, Dolph will make you a better opponent. He'll make that match far greater than what it could be. Look at what he did with the matches with John Cena. I mean, everybody complains about Cena can only do so much in the ring. But when Cena has the right opponent, John Cena can do wonders in that wrestling ring. And Dolph Ziggler is one of those guys that brings out the best of John Cena. And in my, for my money, Dolph Ziggler needs to get that major push. And it is a push that the WWE really should do just for the simple fact they're circulating right now. They're rotating. Um, the top guys right now are just all facing each other, going around in circles, facing each other. There's nothing different going on. And, um, yeah, Dolph definitely deserves to be in that picture. And with Dolph Ziggler in that picture, this could really change a lot of things in the near future for the WWE. It could put together a lot of good matches. And it could make the WWE far much better than what it has been as of recent weeks because we are seeing the same sort of matches week after week after week. You have all the top guys in the main event for the most part. And the WWE is reluctant to really have any of these guys really lose because they don't want anybody taking a loss. So, you know, bring up, push Dolph Ziggler. The man, he definitely deserves to be there. Um, if you watch, like I said, go back and watch his matches against the bigger superstars. Not the mid-carders, the other mid-carders. Watch him against the John Cena's of the world. Watch him, you know, maybe against CM Punk. Watch him against Daniel Bryan. Watch him against Randy Orton. You... You won't be disappointed. I mean, it's it's amazing what this guy can do in the ring when he has, you know, himself put up to the task. So uh, those are my thoughts and my opinions on this Sunday afternoon. Um, if you get a chance, watch the TLC 2012 uh, match between John Cena and Dolph Ziggler for the Money in the Bank briefcase. It will bring you back and, and really show you how really good Dolph Ziggler really can be. This is the Iceman. Peace out. Have yourself a great day.